Hi, everybody. I'm Tim Estilos, and I am here with the one, the only Dame Drops, host of the new upcoming food show on Netflix. It's called Fresh Fried and Crispy. Dame, how you doing, man? I'm, I'm feeling good today, Tim. How you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I got to tell you, I love your show. I was sort of binge watching on it up to seven episodes last night. Wow. The only downside was I was so hungry after watching it. Nothing was open for me to find some <laughs> fried food, brother. Tell me about your show and tell everybody what it's all about. Look, man, the show is about going to various cities and looking for some of the freshest bites out there. Some of that fried goodness that each city has to offer. You go to these mom and pop establishments. Sometimes you might even live in the city and you've never even heard of the spot before. I want to make sure that I'm going to the mom and pop that's tucked down that back alley up over there, right? Not out there in the main road, just yeah. tucked down the back alley. Because sometimes when you go to the, the even a hole in the wall location, you want to get some mean food, some mm -hmm. mean fried bites right there. You know, like this bite right here, everybody has to know about. So I wanted to make sure in Fresh Fried and Crispy, bro, that every mom and pop establishment out there is going to have you screaming for more as a family watching the show together. It's going to have you wanting to take a bite out of your screen. If you watch it from <laughs> your cell phone, don't do it. Watch it from the TV that's further back because you're going to lick the cell phone. You're going to lick close the tablet. To it. It's going to happen. It's going <laughs> to happen. You know, you hit so many great establishments la last night, or rather throughout this series. And one thing I noticed is that the common thread, obviously, is about all the fried food. But the uncommon thing is the way they're all prepared. Tell us more about that. You can do fried foods in various type of ways. When individuals think of fried food, they do. They think of chicken, you know, they think of French fries. The thing is, there's different oils that go into frying particular type of foods, whether it's a fish, you know, or whether it happens to be chicken, whether it happens to be a soft shell crab. You don't always have to do the deep, deep fry where it gets extra dark and crunchy. You sometimes need to go with the light fry. You need to go with the light fry so when you take a bite, you get a snap a crispy snap, a football snap is what I call it at the end of the day. But you get that, you're getting the flavor, you're getting more to the root of the food itself versus working through the fried goodness, right? Yeah. So you have levels to the fried game. And that's what this show is going to show you, that there's levels to the fried game where it's like, look, you have options to have some amazing food that's out there with a light fry to it. And that fry all this is a roller coaster ride for your taste buds. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. You can eat food straight all day long, right? Grilled chicken. You know what grilled chicken is. But that yeah. fried chicken, that's going to take you up. You know what I'm saying? You're going to ascend, and then you're going to come down a little bit. Then you're going to hit a, a couple twists and turns, a couple loops. And fresh fried and crispy doesn't take you through emotional loops while getting you prepared, having you salivate just a little bit. I didn't do my job. Mm. Well, you know, one thing I noticed is that a lot of people will think, all right, just fried foods, just sticking it in the oil, cooking it up and all. But with this show, it's not just the frying, but it's the the ingredients that are put in a lot of these foods that make it just one amazing experience. Yeah, you have to go through the steps. You have to go through the process because the ingredients, that's the flavor that's singing to you. Right? You don't want your food just to be a moment. Nothing worse than food that's a moment. I get upset when I see food that is only a moment. I need to see the process. I need to find out, does this chef truly prepare the food with love, right? Is there passion that's there? Is the soul going into the food? Because it's not comfort food if it doesn't have a process. If it's just something that's quick, that's thrown out to you. Like, come on, now you, you can't even appreciate that. You can't talk about that. It's not even Instagram worthy at that given point. <laughs> you want to make sure that you have that responsibility to your bite. There has to be responsibility. Somebody has to be held accountable for that bite and it has to be you. I don't care what you're eating. You hold yourself accountable for an experience. Fresh fried and crispy, I promise you, Tim, every single time is gonna be an experience. Every single episode, you're going to feel it. You're gonna talk about it with your friends and family for years to come. And we're gonna keep giving you visual greatness, 4K, HDR. I hope you're ready for it. Now, we got to throw out some props to you, my man, because the viewer that sees this episode or all of these episodes, they're not just seeing the food, but they're experiencing your your enthusiasm, your love, your passion and the humor that you bring. I mean, where does that passion for food come from? That love life, life mm -hmm. and life experiences like I came in a loving household. 
You know, my, my mom, she made sure that I stayed on the straight and narrow. It all was very heavy into religion when I was coming up, giving talks to the congregation when I was seven years old. I was always speaking out in front of people, right? And I, when I have a conversation with you, even when it's not about food, I, I just want to uplift your spirits. There's enough that goes on outside, that enough negativity, right? And enough of the things that kind of bring you down. But it's rare to have someone, even a stranger, ready to bring you up, ready to help build you, ready to say, hey, listen, I don't know what it is that you're going through, but let me help you get through it and then let's achieve something greater. So if I could provide that on this show right here for all of us to achieve something greater, especially when it comes to fresh fried and crispy greatness, I'm all for it. Well, you're going to bring the greatness. I'm telling people they have to tune into this show. It debuts on Netflix on June 9th. And all the folks out there who may not be down with fried foods, you're going to bring them over. Yes, I am. Yes, all right, I my am. friend. Thanks for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. Great talking to you, Tim. Mm-hmm.